Hi everyone and happy holidays. My name is Anton. I already have a lot of videos on my channel about how to run neural networks on Rockchip NPU. And about a week ago Rockchip released a new version of RKNN 1.6. And a lot of things have changed. In this video I will make a small update on what has changed and what guide will be a little bit different. In this video I will use a rock chip board that is different from my previous ones. Uh, it's Nano PC uh, T6 from Friendly Elk based on RK3588. Basically it's the same board like any other board on this chipset, but in my opinion a little bit better than my previous one on RK3568. So, let's start from official change log, and it's already pretty interesting. First of all, there is uh, support for newer, newest ONNX version, and it's pretty important because I had a few problems with this. Uh, support custom operators, including CPU and GPU ones. I didn't test it myself, but I look at some samples and it looks nice. Uh, also, there are a, new, a lot of new layers supported, uh, new Python support, and a lot of different features, uh, but in my opinion, they are not so important. But they did forget the few main points that have, have changed. First of all, official documentation is much better. And for example, in previous uh, version of documentation, there was no guide how to set up your board, how to run all this stuff. At least it's now in the documentation. Also, the structure of repositories is completely different from previous one. So uh, for the previous version, you need to like uh, download RK and PU, put this library there. And also this library is about like low level API. There was different library with samples and with RKNN toolkit and RKNN Lite. And for now you just can download them at the single repository, but RKNN model zoo still in the different one. So here you can see like the previous structure and the current one. It's important because your pipeline will be a little bit different now. But in general, uh, the pipeline for the detection model is like for inference is super similar. Let's go it step by step, but with a little, and I will highlight where is the difference. First of all, uh, you may have started exporting ONNX out of the board uh, in comparison with previous pipeline, but I am not sure. Uh, and unless you have an extra day to check this, I would use the old approach. The old approach is uh, the classic one, like you train your model, you install Rockchip repository fork specifically for your detection model, you export it with, to some intermediate format. It used to be Torch script in my previous video, but now it seems it should be ONNX. Also, uh, ex and after that you take this ONNX file and export it to RKNN. The whole pipeline is super similar, but the model zoo repository has changed significantly. Now for each model there is a separate folder and separate script with example. As you remember in my previous guide there was just like the single script to export, single script to inference, and it was not very nice. One important thing, uh, look here, uh, not 
all script parameter can be changed externally for now like you need to specify the path to uh, folder with calibration images also for some models separate anchor file are generated during the on an x export and you need to use these files in your inference in addition, there is a separate uh, file with an example of network usage for each network, but I doubt about its quality. For example, YOLA V8 still use Torch for DFL uh, counting. And uh, I don't like this because Torch is not the framework you want or you embedded device. And sometimes it's pretty hard to install Torch on your embedded device. How to deal with this? Again, look in my previous uh, video. So, in my opinion, it's the most important changes, like the different documentation, the a bit different pipeline for uh, detection model export, and in general, that's all. But uh, a lot of interesting things has appeared since the last version. Uh, and even like in previous version, some of them already were. Uh, in C++ version of codes, it became possible to multiply matrices, matrix directly. Uh, it's super cool because for you can just program some inference on NPU chip. Also, it became possible to register custom operations uh, directly for your network on GPU and CPU. And it seems like you can use GPU inference of the rock chip device. I'm not sure, but if it's true, it's super interesting. Some of these approaches can be seen in documentation, check them out. And also, I would recommend this blog. There are a lot of information about Erkine and NPU, and I think it's the only blog about this board in English. So, thank you for your attention. I hope it will help you with your developments. Bye.